Hi, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an eco map using Tanpa. So, eco map is very similar to bubble map, which I have covered before, but eco map is used to describe the relationship between one item with another. If I give you an example here from Google Image, you will see that this is one great example of eco map. Uh, you can see that there is a person in the middle and there is a relationship between family members and as you can see there are many different types of lines representing different relationship some are some are strong others are energy others are uh, reciprocal weak strenuous etc uh, actually this is just uh an arbitrary move that made by the person made this template you can actually just use a different color to make it simple this is another example of an eco map using a different color to describe a relationship but regardless i'm going to show you how you can create one for yourself using canva so let's start with a blank template go to elements and on the shape section you want to click see all i'm going to insert this first circle and let's change the color to orange now we have created the first circle the next thing that we need to do is we have to create more circles surrounding this circle and of course the process is the same just go to elements again and you can also just click on the circle based on the recently used item on your design and i'm going to just change the color to maybe green now let's just duplicate this element i'm not going to waste my time so let's duplicate these elements quickly so we can get a really good or basically a basic design of this eco map okay now we got this basic eco map by the way you can always change the color later like this one or you can always make it more attractive or you want to use a different color to describe the relationship between items in your chart okay so we have created this one and after that we have to draw some line to connect one circle with another especially the circle in the center to do that let's go to elements on the shape section click see all again and now we can insert a line there are multiple lines that we can use i'm going to insert this simple one and let's start with okay i think i'm going to copy this example okay apparently this line or this arrow has an opposite end they have an i don't know the name the line end and the line start so basically each end will have this arrow shape and by the way you can always increase the height of the line and if you want to use the same line for other circles then you can duplicate that line and connect it to a different circle and also you can change the line's color if you want to if you prefer to make it relevant or the same as the color of the circle you can do that as well and of course you can change the style of the line so you can make it dash dotted etc so this is useful to represent the meaning behind each line and uh, after that you can add some text to describe the item the name of the item or maybe the name of the person of this chart and then you can start typing the name so this is of course not a complete chart but i think based on what i have shown you this is pretty much how you can create one using canva so anyway you can continue upon this design you already know the knowledge on how to build one so feel free to continue building an eco map for your purpose and thank you so much for watching